In this video lecture, we will study about dimensions. Dimension of a physical quantity are the powers to which the fundamental quantity must be raised to represent the given physical quantity. In simple words, dimension is a method of representing any physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantities. Dimensions are denoted by square brackets. Length has dimension L. Mass has dimension capital M. Time has dimension capital T. Electric current has dimension A. Thermodynamic temperature has dimension capital K. Luminous intensity has CD. Mole has MOL. Generally, these three things are very important. Using the square brackets around a quantity, it means that we are dealing with the dimensions of the quantity. Dimension is a very easy topic, yet it is very important. By doing the dimension analysis, we come to know about lot of things about the physical quantity. Now, let us move to dimension formula. Dimension formula, the expression which shows how and which of the base quantities represents the dimension of a physical quantity is known as the dimension formula of the given physical quantity. Let us understand dimension formula with the help of an example. Consider our physical quantity force. How we can represent force? Force is nothing but mass into acceleration. Acceleration can be written as velocity by time. Velocity in turn can be written as displacement by time. This is velocity and this velocity by time is acceleration. So this is x by t square. Mass we have directly written as mass here. Now, this quantity is nothing but x by t square. x by t square can be written as x t minus 2. Displacement can be written as length. Time is written as time minus 2 from here. Now, you can see the force has been represented in terms of fundamental quantities. All the quantities, mass, length, time are fundamental quantities. So, instead of mass, we can write m. Instead of length, we can write l. Time, we can write t. What is the power of m? Is 1. Length power is 1. What is the power of t? Minus 2. Since we are dealing with dimensions here, we will add a square bracket. In simple way, we can write it as ml t minus 2. So, this is our dimension formula for the force, where m is mass, l is length, t is time. Now, let us see how to find the dimension formula for the momentum. Momentum is nothing but mass into velocity. Velocity can be written as length by time. So, length by time can be written as length into time inverse. Therefore, these are all fundamental quantities m, l, t minus 1. So, momentum dimension formula is m, l, t minus 1. Similarly, energy can be written as force into displacement. Force can be written as mass into acceleration into displacement. Acceleration can be written as velocity by time. Velocity can be written as displacement by time. So, energy becomes mass into displacement square into time minus 2. So, all these are fundamental quantities. This is mass. Displacement means length. Time means t. So, it is ml square t minus 2. So, here we get this dimension formula for the energy. Now, here are the list of few physical quantities that have the same dimension formula like frequency, angular frequency, angular velocity and velocity gradient have same dimension formula that is m0, l0, t minus 1. This can also be written as only t minus 1 because m0 1, l0 1. So, it is only t minus 1. 1. Work, internal energy, potential energy, kinetic energy, torque, movement of force all have the same dimension formula that is ml square t minus 2. Kinetic energy means half mv square. So, 
half mass is here velocity means displacement by time square displacement can be written as length by time or in simple terms we can write mass as mass like this l square t minus 2 so see we have easily got the dimensional formula for energy similarly pressure stress young's modulus bulk modulus modulus of rigidity energy density all have same dimensional formula let us see how we can find the dimension of pressure pressure is nothing but force by area force dimensional formula we already know ml t minus 2 what is the dimensional formula for area area is nothing but length into length that is l square correct so when l square goes up it becomes l minus 1 t minus 2 see we have got the same dimensional formula similarly momentum and impulse have the same dimensional formula acceleration acceleration due to gravity the gravitational field and density all have the same dimensional formula angular momentum planck's constant all have the same dimensional formula strain refractive index relative density angle solid angle distance gradient relative permeability relative permeativity have the same dimensional formula but if you see in the dimensional formula all the powers are raised to zero it means you will get one only so this is a dimensionless quantity when you get everything to the power zero it means it is a dimensionless quantity so you can go through the list you can calculate the dimensions for each of the physical quantities and you can yourself see which have the same dimension formula which have the different dimension formula